Uh, what'd you get for VX and VY? I'm not going to bother fitting that in here. You can just... VY should have ended up being 19.6 uh, divided by 9.8 exactly, I think. Yes? What'd you get for VX? Since I'm going to use it, I want to go to th three or four sig figs. 19.6. Uh, VX, I think, is going to be cos. Because VY is sine. 16.97. Okay. Um, horizontal, vertical. AX is zero. Negative nine point eight is AY. VY initial is positive nine point eight. I don't like the fact that those numbers are identical, and we're gonna get them mixed up. Oh, okay, you know what? We're in the big leagues. I can keep track of what's what. I'll just be really, really careful. Uh, dy is negative uh, 14.7, vx is 16.97, vertical is the column that I know three things, I'm solving this vertically. Uh, I'd like to find t, did you use quadratic formula or did you find vy final and then use vy final to find t? Either approach is now acceptable. Okay, so you said that Let's go over here. Hang on, Mr. Duke. Let's go over here because I'm running out of room. Vy final squared equals Vy initial squared plus 2AD equals 16. No, Mr. Duke, not 16. That's Vx. Good gosh. Get your brain in. 9.8 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 14.7. You said 9.8 squared plus... 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 14.7. You square rooted, and then you were clever enough to, oh. Say what, Mr. Duick? Why am I getting that again? Should I, or is that just a fluke? Oh, okay. I guess it's going to be hitting the ground twice as fast as it, anyways, they, they've picked strange convenient numbers, I guess. 19.6. Oh, why is that wrong, by the way? It's not 19.6. Negative. Negative. You got that? Yes, yes, yes. There it is. Because how do I know it's negative? Which way is it traveling? I have to, and that's the only weakness. This, the, if you're going to find Vy, this equation, it's a scalar equation. Because of those squares, you lose any negatives along the way. So you have to interpret your answer at the end and say, oh, OK. Is that all right? And then the rest should fall apart. And glad you did that here because you won't do it on the test or quiz or whatever. Any others? Oh, 11. You broke it up into components? Okay. By the way, you, you notice how I can spot it right away. As soon as I see a theta, an angle, something with a degree symbol, I know I got to go components here because we don't do math at angles. There is a way, by the way, to do these, but, and you may have a prof next year that chooses to do these all in one fell swoop, but most of them will still go the component method for this. You can use polar coordinates and yeah, whatever. Uh, what would you get for VX and VY, Gabby? 14.3? And you know what? I probably can get away without finding Vx because it says what's its maximum height. So you said Vy final is goose egg zero, yes? And you because it's maximum height at the top. And you said uh, Ay is negative nine point eight. And they want us to find height. Do I have an equation that has those four things in it? Oh. Uh, I think it's going to be D equals V final squared minus V initial squared all over 2A. Is that right? If I get the D by itself? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that your mistake? Is, did you get the wrong equation? or? I think that's it. And now I think it's plug and chug. Bracket. I'd normally show more work, but I want to get today's lesson and give you as much time as I can to work on it. Zero squared. It, it, do I need to put a squared on a zero? 
I'm oh, going to be lazy, uh, minus 14.3 squared, close bracket, divided by bracket 2 times negative 9.8, which I'm pretty sure is 19.6, but that's okay. 10.4, what's the answer say? 10.5. Is it 10.4 or 10.5? I would go 10.4. It says 10.5. I need to change that. Is it 10.4 or 10.5? 10.5? Oh, you know what? It probably depends on what you use for the 14.3. If you use the actual value that was stored on your calculator, so I won't bother changing that. And you, uh, on tests, I want you to be accurate to two sig figs. The third sig fig, I'll look at your data. It's, I'm not too fussy on. But don't round off along the way. Round off at the end. If you're not sure, along the way, carry four or five sig figs. Carry three or four decimals after the fact, and you should be safe. Any other questions? This is just uh, adding the sprinkles to the cake. The icing is already on. The cake is already there. Just touching on some weird stuff. First of all, things to remember. What if the projectile is launched horizontally? What if it looks like this? This is actually an easier question, but for some reason kids, although it's easier, they tend to forget. Let's suppose this would be 12 meters per second, and we have horizontal and vertical. We still know that AX, Dorothy, is 0, yes, and AY is negative 9.8. What else can you tell me without any trig? What's VY initial? Yeah, this one bugs students. VY initial is zero. They want to put the 12 in there because they don't, they, they're like, well, there's no velocity. I'll use the 12. No, no, no. You can't put a horizontal into a vertical column. Don't you dare. It's zero. It's that, which actually makes some stuff cancel, makes your equation much nicer. Vx would be 12. Okay. Number two. Uh, that, oh, I'm not going to solve it. I just wanted to remind you if it's launched horizontally, don't forget Vy initial is zero for a split second right when it leaves the cliff. Uh, Example, sorry? No, no. We're good? Yeah. Shush. Thank you. Example two, or question two. A projectile is launched from a cliff. Cliffs at an angle are the toughest ones. Ah, it lands on the ground 5.2 seconds later. A says find the height. B says find the range dx. Did they give me the time in this question? The time of flight? If they tell you the time, the question is way, 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 way easier. We're still going to do components. Let's do that really quickly here. Um, does anybody remember there was a dumb way to remember what VY was? You know what? Since we're pressed for time, on the test, I'd probably do the trig, but in my homework or on a quiz, I'm pressed for time. It's going to end up being velocity sine 30, which I think is going to be exactly 10 meters per second. Check my math. Cos 30, which is going to be, it's going to be 8.66 times 2. It's going to be 16 plus 1.2, 17.2, 17.36. Uh, Am I accurate to, four, to two decimal places? Three, two. three ah, I thought I'd get the fourth sig fig. 17.32. I know the sine and cosine of 30 degrees. I have that one memorized. Why did I put a meters per second squared up there? I don't know. So we start out the same way. Oh, and we'll do our traditional horizontal, vertical, uh, AX equals 0, AY equals negative 9.8, VY initial was 10, VX was 17.32. I can't put a dy or a dx in this column. However, there's one more thing this question told me, which I can put on each column, John, what? T. What did I say t was? Five point something? 5.2. If you know time, which is why the question falls apart. And Ben, that's why in all the previous questions, our first thing that we tried to find was time of flight. Uh, what did it ask us to find first, Ben? 
I'll call that dy. Yoink. And did I put a letter next to that? I did. How about I put a right there? Uh, I'm looking for an equation that has d, a, v initial, and t in it. Oh, I think I have one with the d by itself already, don't I? I think I can just go v i t plus a half a t squared. This is about as plug and chug as it gets. My vertical displacement is going to be 10 times 5.2 plus 0.5, negative 9.8, 5.2 squared. Crunch the numbers. What do you get? I think you're going to get a negative. Do you get a negative? What's the negative telling you? You ended up below from where you started from. Now, did I ask for the vertical displacement in the question, or did I ask for the height? Height? Height, scalar or vector. When you see a building, do you say that building is negative 80 meters high? Even if you're standing on top of the building, do you say the height of this building is negative 80 meters high? So, you know, I, I wouldn't take marks off if you said uh, negative, because I'm, to be honest, I'm really not sure. I think height is a scalar because it is in conversation, but I'm assuming that conversation is doing the physics accurately, and it may not be. So uh, what did you get actually? Negative what? 80.5? And I'll just put equals 80.5 meters. I think height's a scalar. Uh, and they also want the range, dx, b. What happened to the half at squared? A oh, a is zero horizontally, if we ignore air resistance, and we are. So it's just going to be 17.32 times 5.2. Ninety point one meters. Okay. I think somewhere on your test, at least once, I'm going to give you a question where I give you the time. Although I have a feeling I wouldn't make this a written. This, to me, would be a good multiple choice if I gave you the information in the original question and then said either find the height or find the range, and give you an A, B, C, and D to pick from. Somehow I felt like giving you an extra page to write on. I don't know why. Number three. I like number three. I like number three. I like number three. Number three is a nice question. Megan, why would I say that? Um, now, I, I need to clarify. I, first of all, I didn't say that officially. I have more than one version for each unit of my tests. And so when I say I like this question, I know for a fact I'm pretty sure it's on one of them, perhaps both of them. But, so I can't quite guarantee. And I, I, you know, I'm trying to give you a range of stuff to focus on. Uh, projectiles launched from the ground with an initial velocity of 88 meters per second at an angle of 70 degrees with a horizontal. Okay. What is the velocity, magnitude, and direction of the projectile after 4.6 seconds? Dope. So we're launching like this. Boom. Uh, 88 at an angle of 70 degrees. Boy, that looks like 45 degrees. That should be way steeper. Oh, whatever. Uh, what are we going to do first here? Yeah, you know what? We're at an angle. This is, I, I can't call it a no-brainer, Chels, because it does involve some good skill. But in terms of a decision-making, hey, we're at an angle. You better find the components. So VY initial equals 88 sine 70. VX equals 88 
Coast, 70. Eighty two point seven. You know what? I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna go eighty two point six nine. And VX. Although I have a feeling I'm not gonna need VX, but I'll find it anyways because it takes one step. Thirty point oh nine seven. I guess thirty point one zero. If I go to four sig figs. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need VX, actually. Now let's do A. A says, what is the velocity, magnitude, and direction of the projectile after 4.6 seconds? Well, this is a bit tricky because, first of all, I'm not sure if this thing's on its way up or on its way down. If it's on its way up and I wanted to draw a little picture, the velocity would look like that. If it's on its way down and I wanted to draw a little picture, the velocity would look like that. Right? How can I figure out whether it's on its way up or on its way down? I could find total time. Total time is going to be a bit yucky because total time is going to involve uh, a quadratic. I think what I'm going to do instead is, because I'm going ground to ground, I'm going to find time to top because at the top, I have a nice vertical velocity. What's my vertical velocity at the top? Zero, and it's nice to do math with zeros. And if it's at the top after 4.2 seconds, then I know it's still on its way up. If it's at the top before 4.2 seconds, I know it's on the way down. And I can find, I think, time to top fairly quickly over in the margin here. Time to top. Vy final is 0. Ay is negative 9.8. Vy initial is 82.69. T. Is there an equation that has those four things in it? And can I get the t by itself when I do the equation? Hit me up, John. What do you got? I'll give you a hint. t equals. Anyone, which equation? Can you get the t by itself? Oh, I'm sorry, you did. It does start with VF, and I already, I didn't hear you say the minus. Uh, VF minus VI over A. It's going to be bracket 0 minus 82.69 divided by negative 9.8. It takes 8.44 seconds to get to the top. So based on that, are we on the way up or on the way down? I think it looks like this. Here's the velocity they want me to find in A. Oh, and I can fill in some of the components already, Jake. What number can I put right here? What number can I put here? 30.10, sure. What number can I put right here? Don't say 82.69, because I can't. I don't know what number I can put here yet. I'm going to have to calculate it. Because this is going to be, Jake, my final velocity after 4.2 seconds, right? Not an initial. And it's funny how many kids will put the 82.69 there, and they'll crunch the numbers. They'll do the Pythagoras. You know what you'll get when you do that? Uh, you'll get uh, 88 meters per second at an angle of 70 degrees. You'll get exactly this, where we started from, because where we started from had those two as its components. Okay. So now I need to quickly find VY final, which I'm pretty sure is VY initial plus AT, which is going to be 
82.69 plus negative 9.8 times, was it 4.2 seconds? Is that what I said? No? 4.6. What's my final vertical velocity? Need a little more room. 82.69 plus no negative 9.8 times 4.6. Should be less. I'm going to guess around. Sorry? 37.61. Anybody else? People nodding? Thirty-seven point what? Probably also it depends which value. Okay, but also if you used eighty-two point seven, you'd probably get a slightly different decimal. Carry as many sig figs as is convenient. Like carry a few extras. How can I find v? Pythagoras. I'm hooked on something here. Come here. There we go. Uh, it's going to be thirty point one squared plus. 37.61 squared. By the way, 30 and 37 are fairly close to each other. I'm expecting an angle close to 45 degrees. I'm going to guess it's in the 40s. I don't know. I haven't got there yet. But this is my way of making sure. That, that's the velocity, not the angle. Velocity, 48.2. Velocity at 4.6 seconds equals... 48.2 meters per second at, and we need an angle theta. Which trig function? Tan? Go over here. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. I said it was going to be close to 45 degrees. Is that close to 45 degrees? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I'm right. 51.3 degrees. Don't you dare say north of east. What are we going to call that now? Above the horizontal. Okay. So I think now it's fair game for me Shay, to launch something at an angle and say to you, tell me the velocity after however many seconds. And I even think it's fair game to ask you to figure out whether it's on its way up or on its way down. Sometimes you'll get a picture in the question and they'll show you, you'll be able to look at the picture and kind of get a hint based on how much of the arc that they drew, whether it's on its way up or on its way down. B. Same question, except after 12 questions. Hey, after 12, after 12 questions, after 12 seconds. Hey, um, after 12 seconds, is it on its way up or on its way down? It's on its way down, okay. I'm gonna freeze the screen, try B on your own, good practice.
I think you end up with a velocity and the theta both in the 40s somewhere. I think, I hope. Oh, I thought I froze the screen. I guess not. Do you see where you zigged? Where you zigged? Yeah? Okay, as long as you see that, then this was worth it, right? And fix it. Yeah. Yep. Less drooling, more schooling. Right? How many of you got that? Okay. Most of you? This half of the room? Okay. I'll bring this back up if you need it, but don't zone out. Instead, focus on the next one. This is the nasty one. Um, I like this question. I like this question. I like this question. Number four. So we're continuing on with our theme of, hey, what's the final velocity? And hopefully by now you figured, oh, I'll use Vx. I'll have to find Vy final, and then it's doing Pythagoras and some trig. What's the difference here? Here they didn't tell me the time. We are being launched at an angle. We're hitting a wall. Instead of telling me the time, what did they give me in this diagram? Dx. See it? I think I'm going to use dx to find t. And then once I have t, now it's just like the questions that we've done previously. Oh, and I'm going to trust that the diagram is accurate. I'm going to trust that on V final, it's on its way down. Okay. So first things first, uh, components. Vx is going to be 26 cos 37. Vy initial is going to be 26 sine. 37. Twenty point oh seven six six. No, twenty point seven oh seven. Twenty point seven six six. And fifteen point six four seven. There's my components. Once again, we're going to break this up into horizontal and vertical because we are going to have to find t. We're going to say, hey, ax is 0. ay is negative 9.8. We're going to say vx is 20.766. Vy initial was 15.647. And we know that the horizontal displacement is 40. How's that help? I'm standing up and I'm going wireless. Let's see how well this works. How's that help? Where am I going to find time, horizontally or vertically? Which column do I know three things? Horizontally? OK, so uh, t equals question mark. Oh, actually, horizontally, it's way easier to find time, because since a is 0, we start out with d equals v i t plus a half a t squared, but the half a t squared cancel. We lose the quadratic. Oh, I like that. So dx equals v x t. I guess that means that t equals dx over vx, 40 over 
Seven six six seven six five, isn't it? I can't even round off properly. Should be a nickel. Not that it's going to make much of a difference on that third sig fig, but I'll be accurate. It was twenty point seven six. Yeah, four. The five makes that a four. Yeah, there we go. Good gosh, do it. Uh, do you get one point nine two six? Anybody else? Yeah. And behold, we have now turned it into. Sydney, the previous question. We now know T. What's T? Uh, 1.926 seconds. What do they want me to find? V final after 1.926 seconds. What's it going to look like? Well, according to the picture, it looks like we're headed into the wall, downwards. Uh, I know some of the components. Yoink. I know this was uh, 20.765. I don't know what VY final is. Oh, wait a minute. I can walk through that over here. Equals VY initial plus AT. It's going to be, what was VY initial? 15.647 plus negative 9 9.8, 1.926, 15.647 plus negative 9.8 times 1.92, how about 19.2, how about 1.926? I do get a negative velocity, which means it is on its way down, which Jake matches the diagram, so I think I'm right. Yay. Uh, I'm not going to, well, I'll, over here I'll write uh, negative 3.228. Negative 3.228. I better make sure I copy that down right. Here I'll leave off the negative because the arrow down is pointing, is letting me know that this is negative. And now we're back to familiar territory, Megan. It's going to be Pythagoras. Uh, by the way, this diagram is lousy scale. Shay, how long is this line right here? Uh, can, you can't see the dot. How long is this line right here supposed to be? Read it to me. How long is this line right here supposed to be? Read it to me. That's a terrible scale. That, it should be, the, you know, the triangle should look something like this, right? But humor me. I'm not going to freak out about scale here. Uh, can you find V final with Pythagoras? And can you find the theta with, uh, I think it's going to be tangent. squared plus 20.765 squared square root 20 21.0 I guess opposite over you know what I should have done is I should have had somebody else do this on the tablet. That's what I need to think about doing. I can get you guys more involved. Just like when I had people juggle at the front of the... Shut up, Mr. Duke. Sorry. Do you get an angle of 8.8 .8 degrees? Pretty small angle. below the horizontal. It's barely started to head down. Although if I look at the diagram, that actually seems to be what's going on. I'm okay with this. I think I'm assuming the diagram is accurate. I think I'm okay. Have I done my little foxtrot rant with you guys yet? Yes. yes. He actually has a physics degree. So you can read that one if you want to. Good projectile motion. 
Otherwise, what's your homework? No, actually, I have something else first. You're going to get a quiz, sort of, but I have to explain how it works. But first, I need to pause my video.